Hey everyone, I want to show you a little project that I've been working on. Uh, there's a uh, diagram of a man online that uh, shows how to wire in uh, these these relays here. Um, I'll hold still so you can get a part number off that. Well, I'll move my hand like this so it'll focus. Well, anyways, get you a part number there. All right. Anyways, back to the video for today. Um, it's a very interesting circuit. Uh, this guy, well, my this is a little different than his circuit. Um, I've actually got a microwave oven transformer uh, instead of or a microwave oven. Uh, capacitor that came off of the transformer hooked up here instead of a, a small uh, ceramic capacitor and uh, here the left side of the capacitor is hooked to the negative uh, that will go to the negative on my battery uh, the positive is hooked up to uh, number 30 on this relay here And also uh, hooked up to your ignition coil. Now keep in mind, guys, this is an extremely dangerous, uh, more than 50,000 volts, um, very high voltage. Basically, you're building a Tesla coil, except dangerous, more dangerous. Um, yeah, so uh, use caution anytime you wire anything such as you know high circuitry or anything like that. Uh, basically. Uh, I'm using the same pattern that he did off of his uh, relay, and uh, I've got my positive going to 30, and also going to the positive on uh, the ignition coil. The negative on the ignition coil, uh, it goes to, uh, let's see here, I'll get you the numbers real quick. The negative goes to the ignition coil, and also goes to... 87A and 85 this one and this one now you've got another another one here we're going to run it over hang on yeah 85 and 87 is hooked to the negative on the uh, ignition coil and the other side of the capacitor here. So it's hooked to, there's, there's actually four wires tied together right here. So this black wire goes not only to the negative on the ignition coil with that blue wire all tied together right here, but it goes to number 87A, my lighting is horrible here, and number 86. Like I said, the other one's hooked to the other side, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it right there. Um, you guys want to maybe pause it right here and, and get a good shot while it's wired. And uh, I guess on top of that, um, I can show you right here that this red wire is number 30, which is this one right here. So, you got your numbers here. Well, if it'll zoom in without me dropping it. Well, there we go. A little better. Yep. Yep. So, like I said, 
Uh, this one right here is number 30. Uh, the middle one right here would be 87A. Uh, we're not going to use uh, 87, which is the top one. Uh, the one on the left here is going to go to the positive on your ignition coil and to the positive on your battery. Now, when you hook this relay up and you've got your positive hooked up and you've got your negative hooked up, this blue wire that goes here, and it also uh, runs to number 30 there. That's what that's what makes it oscillate in between uh, jumping and uh, your you're actually going to get 110 volts here and here uh, on these two wires. Uh, well, from your ground, uh, yeah, yeah, from these two wires, you're going to have 110 volts there. Uh, not a lot of amperage, but uh, I'll show you on this voltage thing here uh, and what I mean. And uh, believe it or not, it, it does uh, stay between 50 and 60 hertz with uh, this capacitor set up. And it, it worked just fine with this one on here. Now I'm not gonna say 100% that it's gonna be exactly the same with this capacitor, but it's gonna be really close. Now uh, keep in mind, the electricity can jump from this to you. Um, you will see here in just a second uh, that this plastic uh, toolbox here uh, has little metal hinges on it. There's, you know, it's it's basically empty. I wouldn't have been able to pick it up. Uh, it's got a couple little bitty, you know, it really doesn't have anything in it. And there definitely isn't anything over here close to, um, I need that in a minute, close to uh, this little hinge here. But that doesn't matter once you get above a certain voltage. It will jump uh, quite far, actually. Uh, keep in mind, everyone, this can kill you um, if you don't, you know, if you don't feel comfortable with it yet. Um, you don't have anything close to anything. This is how you know if it works. That is the sound of this little box right here. This uh, relay. It's just a Ford relay um, oscillating. And it's vibrating back and forth. I um, don't know how comfortable I feel. Uh, yeah, I'll be alright with it. I'll show you. I'll see if I can. I'm pretty sure I can show you the voltage on here without getting zapped. Um, alright. So, that one lead there. I'll just, I'll just do it like this. Set the other one there. Um, let's see here. Anywhere I put this, it's going to jump. So yeah, I'll just I'll just set it right there. It'll probably jump from uh, it'll probably jump from this screw because this is the ground. This is the negative here. Uh, it'll probably jump from here to this wire. This is a this is a hydrogen cell that I built, by the way, out of, anyways, um, it shouldn't activate it, but, I mean, it, it probably will produce a little bit uh, with the way the cell is hooked up right now. It's it's not the ideal cell for this right here, but, uh, anyways. Um, yeah, it's good. And, uh, well, what was that shape? I need to see that shape. with uh with these 1000 volts 
uh, pliers because I can feel the magnetism coming through it actually. Um, yeah, like I said, you know, I mean, watch this. I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not. But I'm not, that's not grounded to anything and it's jumping to it. From a, almost an inch right there and it starts jumping to it. So, let's see, this is fine. This, this right here is ground. That, that right there. So it's jumping from here just to the water inside the cell here. It will jump to anything. I mean, it'll it'll jump to you. So definitely, you know, don't get too close to this thing. Hold, definitely don't hold it with pliers like I'm doing. Uh, I want to tear my phone up by getting too close. get it close, it'll start getting hot, and it'll start burning wires. I can not touch it directly to it, it's not shortening it out. It's very handy for, you know, projects, I mean, honestly, that's, that's a couple, of, almost two inches there. Very, very dangerous. It's very fun to play with, though.